Hello my friends and welcome back to another book video. Today we're doing one of my favorite things ever, which is sitting down and talking about books. I got inspired to film this video because I watched Katie's video. So huge shout out to Katie. I have been loving her book content a lot. I'm watching it all the time. If she uploads, I am watching. So in this video, we'll be answering some book questions that Katie also answered in her video. And some of these questions are going to be Katie's question that she came up with for this task. So without further ado, let's start, grab a tea, grab a coffee, and let's talk books. So question number one, best book you've read so far in 2024? I have two books to share for this question. My number one is A Court of Wings and Ruin. I freaking loved that book so much. It gave me goosebumps on goosebumps. It made me cry. It had romance. It had action. If you don't know this book, A Court of Wings and Ruin is actually book number three in the Akutar series, which is a fantasy series by by Sarah J Maas. If you are in the book community, in the booktube, book talk world, I am sure you already know which book this is and you already know this series, but this is one of the best books that I have read so far this year. And the second book has to be Piranesi by Susanna Clark, enigmatic, mysterious, beautiful. This was such an unexpected book. I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. And I had no clue that this book was going to be about what this book was about. I'm not really explaining things very nicely, but if you have read for an easy, you get what I mean. This is a fever dream, but such a beautiful fever dream. Of course, I also loved other books as well, but these have to be my top two so far. So next up, we have new releases you haven't read yet, but want to. Number one, definitely Heartless Hunter. I think it was released in February and I still haven't bought the book yet. I need to buy it ASAP. I need to read that book. I have heard the best of the best. I think this is about a witch hunter and a witch. So this is giving animals to lovers, obviously. This sounds like something that I would obsess over and I love obsessing over fictional characters and over books. So this is for sure a newer release that I want to read. And also have noticed that it is called Heartless Hunter in some countries. I think somewhere in America, I might be completely wrong. But in Greece, I find it as the Crimson Moth, which is, I think, the name of the series. But this is straight up how the book is called, The Crimson Moth. This is how I find it in Greek websites. So I will be buying that book very, very soon. Biggest surprise. Hands down, Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I originally bought this book because I wanted a light, summery, beautiful book just to get into the summer spirit. I had heard a few people say that this is not just a fluffy romance. And I was like, even better because I don't like just fluffy, pointless romance books. I want them to have more things going on. And this book definitely has a lot of things going on. I fell head over heels for our main characters. They deserve the best. Am I such a sweet, kind young woman? Justin is just boyfriend material. He's the epitome of if he wanted to, he would. He's the sweetest, most wholesome male main character I have ever read. This book made me smile. I shed also a couple of tears. There are some trigger warnings for this book. The author herself mentions them at the beginning of the book right here. So this book does touch on on some sensitive topics like childhood neglect and trauma, a toxic parent. I could slightly relate to some of the things that were mentioned in this book and I just loved our main couple. They were the cutest couple ever. This was definitely a surprise because even though I had heard really good things about this book, I just didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Favorite new author. This is going to be a favorite new author to me and that has to be Sarah J Maas. Sarah J Maas, I don't know how how her brain is working. She has created this whole Akutar universe so beautifully. And now I am reading the Throne of Glass series. And again, the plot twist, the characters, the whole storyline. This woman is just straight up talented. You either love or hate her books. I just love her books. She's definitely my new favorite author. Newest fictional crush. So this is going to be a new crush to me because these books have been out for years and years. Again, so J Maas, the actor series. I read the series this year, so this is a new crush to me. And before I say who my crush is, can you guess who he is? Comment down below before you see my answer. Who do you think it is? Do you think it is Tamlin, Lucian, Reese, Cassian, Azrael? Who do you think it is? It is Cassian. I love Cassian. From the moment we met Cassian, from the moment I laid my eyes on his fan art on Pinterest, I was like, this is the one for me. Okay, I love Reese, Azrael, cute, okay, but Cassian? 
I love how fun he is, how strong he is, how much he cares about the people that he loves and how he treats them. I love the whole relationship with Nesta. I was just eating their relationship up even before I read A Court of Silver Flames, which is Nesta's book. So we do see a lot of Cassian in here. But this is actually both Nesta and Cassian's book. But even before this book, every little crumb that Sarah J Maas was giving us from Cassian and Nesta, I was just eating it up. Cassian, my number one book boyfriend, and I don't know if anyone will ever compare. I mean, I have started reading, as I said, the Throne of Glass series. So far, nobody compares to Cassian. Even though lately, Dorian has been making me feel some type of way, but I don't know yet. Book that made you cry. I have two books. Again, I have to give it to just for the summer. I was not ugly crying with just for the summer, but I did shed a couple of tears. And number two, here I did ugly cry and I do have receipts for that because I am filming a reading vlog for that with spoilers and everything. But that book is The Assassin's Blade. And if you have read The Assassin's Blade, you know why I cried. You know why I cried. I was thinking that, you know what? I know that this is going to happen because I read this book third and not first. So I'm going to keep my distance and I'm not gonna cry. Guess who cried? Like a baby. Stay tuned for that reading vlog to see me ugly cry and make fun of me. Most beautiful book you've bought so far. Hands down, Once Upon a Broken Heart. I haven't read the book yet, but look at this gorgeous, stunning cover. I love pink. I love gold. I love the whole aesthetic of the cover. The knights with the uniforms, the stars, flowers. The couple here on the back the foxes up here. I have heard that the main male character calls the main female character Lil Fox, which I think is going to be the cutest nickname ever. I find it gorgeous and I just love pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors as you can tell by my top. I just love pink, pink everything. I also love green as well and gold. So this is just my type of cover. And if I had to choose one more, I definitely have to mention Piranesi again because blue is also one of my favorite colors. It also has gold as well. I just find this cover just magnetic. So these two. So now I'm continuing with Katie's questions. All the rest of the questions are originally Katie's questions. Number one, what books do you want to reread this year? I wanted to reread read two books for summer just to get into that summer mood and because I just love these books in general. And these two books are Happy Place and Malibu Rising. These are for sure two very nice books for summer that again, they're not just fluffy, pointless, empty romance books that just have maybe smut and nothing else in them. Not at all. The characters have stuff going on. I just love both of the books. Also, Taylor Jenkins Reid has to be one of my favorite authors ever. I have never read a bad book from Taylor Jenkins Reid. Books you have been putting on off. I know the answer. I know the answer. Number one, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I have been wanting to read this book for over a year, maybe two years. I bought it months ago and I still haven't read it. So I have been putting this off. I have a feeling that I'm going to adore this book. Again, this book has been really hyped up. I know that a lot of people love it. So I do have high expectations for this book. And the other book that I have been putting off, even though I think that it was also in my, I don't know, it was in one of my TBRs. I think that I got it back in November, 2023. And the book is The Truth About Melody Brown by Lisa Jewell. So I've had this book for months and months. I'm always saying that I will read it next month. I will read it next month. Then I buy other books. I get excited about other books and I have just been really putting it off. So these two are the books that I need to read at some point and I need to stop putting them off. A book you enjoyed with mixed reviews. I know which book that is. And every time I mention this book in my channel, I always say that it has mixed reviews. And that is The Midnight Library. I know that people have given this book one star. I know that people have said that this was a bad book. It is overhyped. In my humble opinion, this is one of the best books I have ever read. It made me emotional. It made me think about my life and my choices and how I am living and how my life could have been if at some point I had made different choices. This is definitely a five star read for me. The book has depth. It has meaning. It has a beautiful message to it. And I just think that this is 
one of the best books I have ever read, even though a lot of people don't like it. Series you want to finish before the end of the year. Number one, Throne of Glass. I'm currently doing the tandem read. It's going to be a long journey, I feel like, to finish the tandem read, but by the end of 2024, I need to have finished the Throne of Glass series. And I know that I will have, because I am enjoying it so much. So, And the second series that I want to have finished before the end of the year is the Folk of the Air series. I have heard such good things about this series. A lot of people have this series as their favorite fantasy series ever. So again, I have really high expectations for this one. I cannot wait to start it. The series has three books, so I guess we can call it a trilogy. So since there are only three books, I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty achievable for me to finish this by the end of 2024. Five star predictions for the rest of the year. Number one, The Seven Year Slip. One of my YouTube friends, Sarah, was reading The Seven Year Slip at one of her reading vlogs and seeing her reactions and how excited she was about The Seven Year Slip has me very excited to read this book as well. And I feel like Sarah and I have very similar book tastes and we are very similar as girls in general. Sarah, shout out to you. You already know. So seeing her enjoy this book so much has me feeling that I will enjoy the book very, very much as well. And also one more book that... Sarah again loves and I have a feeling that I will love as well is Divine Rivals. I have been wanting to read this book for the longest time and honestly I cannot wait to start it. I'm not supposed to share this book in this video because I am filming a huge book haul very very soon and this book is going to be in that haul. So pretend that you didn't see it but I have a feeling that this book is also going to be a five-star read just because the plot sounds really really good and cozy. Can I call it cozy? Maybe not. And also just because Sarah loved the book as well so I have a feeling that I will love it as well. Do you think you'll reach your reading goal and are you going to change it? I actually had a pretty low, I want to say, reading goal for 2024. It was only 20 books and I did reach my goal, I think, a couple of days ago. So I did change my goal and I made it 30 books. One thing about me is that I feel like I don't read that quickly or at least that's what I have been saying to myself for the longest time, that I'm not a fast reader, that I don't read very quickly. But I have noticed that when I love a book a lot that I do read it quickly. But anyways, since I did end up achieving my 20 books goal, I changed it into 30 books and I'm hoping that by the end of 2024 I will have read 10 more books. I feel like 2024 is the year that I started reading even more. I fell back into reading around 2022 but I was not reading as much as I do now. I was also not really watching booktube at all and now booktube videos are some of my favorites to watch and to film but during 2023 I slowly started reading more and I feel like now 2024 it is my time to shine this is my year I am reading a lot a lot for me I am not a full-time booktuber or anything like that so I'm not like reading 10 or 20 books a month I feel like I low-key don't have enough time for that but maybe if I organize my time better I will be able to read 10 books in a month one day I don't know but I feel like 30 books is a good goal to have by the end of 2024 so this were all of the questions that I decided to answer. Again, a huge shout out to Katie for inspiring me to film this video and a shout out for her questions as well. I will have her channel linked down below as well as Sarah's channel and I truly hope you enjoyed this video my friends. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and I'm gonna see you all in my next video. Bye friends!